Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. This one's a bit different. Uh, me and the Misso are gonna show you around our camper. Uh, we've got the XTT. We've had it for nearly a year. By the yeah. time you see this, it'll be about a year. So we thought we'll show you the mods that we've done, what we like about it, what we hate about it, and what we overall think about it. So, the kids have just come back from uh, a bit of swimming. You cold? Yeah. You gonna make a mess? No. We need to get the worms. Have you still got the worms? Yeah. Did you bring the worms back with you? Yeah. yeah. Show the peeps. Where's your worms? The they in there? Yeah. How many you got? Four. Gonna wet your towel. What? <laughs> they must be all in there. Oh, look at them! Eat one. The Give you a dollar. Sienna, you only got one. So, I think we will start outside. If you want. Outside? Yeah. Well, right, so the fridge, uh, this whole up front section here near the drawbar is pretty much all storage, fridge, pantry. The other side actually has a second fridge slide for a smaller fridge outlet. Yeah. Probably put a 60 in there, I reckon. Yeah. Maybe. But we keep our port chainsaw, stuff like that in there. Um, we don't need two fridges as we have the 80 litre upright now in the cruiser as well. So between us, we got 95, 80. Oh, that's too much mass for me. 75, 175 litres. So don't ask me. <laughs> 175 litres of fridge space between us. So that's more than sufficient, no matter how much of a piss head you are. Um, we've got the Dometic in here and the pantry space. That the missile will pull out for you is we've just uh picked these where did you get them from? Oh, everything from Kmart, eh? Kmart, yep. So, all Kmart gear, little dividers, all from Kmart. These little storage doodackies, containers, yeah, containers that's mm -hmm. the word. Um, all from Kmart, cheap as no, those dividers you can actually buy in the actual container section in Kmart and I think they were thirteen dollars. We've got one in here, two two in the other side I think the other side that is for our laundry um like toiletry stuff and our towels. Yeah so we have that exact same fridge or sa Set exact up. same slide yeah on the other side as well. Um but in there we got towels, toiletries, yeah the lead for the solar panel um, just like your toilet paper, yeah, all um, that stuff, oh. yeah, all your shower stuff, everything is all in pretty much there. your linen cupboard, yeah. As you'll see when we go to the shower section, how it is actually all set out, yeah. It's been it's definitely not how uh, <laughs> these things come out, no, but it's I reckon it's a lot easier. You don't have to carry around as much or set up as much, but the tops that's for your poles for your annex, um. It and comes like that, yeah. Yeah, well that's how it comes factory, yeah. It comes with, that's pretty much just all the room for your bags, poles, because all the um, windows either sides yes. all have little poles so you can put like a little annex over them really, just to keep the weather out so you can still have them open in winter and not get rain in. Mm, but, as we found out today. <laughs> yeah, but if you roll them up and don't use the poles, unroll them when it's uh, raining because they just fill up full of water. Didn't leak though. Yeah, that was one good Didn't thing. leak. So, in saying that, uh, pretty good gear from uh, MDC there. To, they had probably a couple of litres of water in each end yeah. when we unrolled them, and they were very wet. Yes. But we have uh, put some slides in there. We've got some slides made up from an alley joint. There's actually a couple of companies in Perth, or actually in Australia, that make them ready to go bolt them in. A little bit pricey. I think they're like around the $800, $750, 750 800 for a pair. For the pair, yeah. either side. Um, at the moment, with what I had laying around at home, it's cost us 250 bucks. Yeah. So, still got to get in powder coated, obviously. It's just trial and But with, this is <laughs> yeah. our first run with them to make sure we're going to like them and if they're worth keeping. If they're not, well, we'll just sell them to someone else that wants them. And... We'll do something else, but I, I think we're definitely going to keep them by the looks of it. Yes. They um, so, yeah, we'll definitely get them powder coated to match everything else, but... So, that's both sides as well, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you took it. 
So this is just going to be for how, just, yeah, you can say pots, pans, containers, toaster, thing, just, just extra We're storage. We're trying to see if this is actually going to work with the pots and pans yeah. and our containers and everything up yeah. the top. Otherwise? Otherwise the pantry and everything is going to come, well half of the pantry, all that is going to come up here yeah. and then we're going to do pots and pans down in the, the drawer. Just to see how we go. It's going to be a trial and error until we kind of work out yeah. exactly how we want everything. Yeah, so the pots and pans all fit pretty well. Yeah. But the containers, obviously we won't fit our big cereal ones in there, so they're still going to have to stay in the bottom. But all the shorter ones, like yeah. the other stuff that we keep in there, and then we can definitely keep our collapsible containers still in there. And maybe have the space for the pots and pans down the bottom, or vice versa. Um, it's just because, yeah, if this gets out, it will jam down the side. <laughs> We've learned that, learned that lesson already. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like I said, trial and error. Trial and error. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Only, we only had it for 12 months, uh, so we're still trialing <laughs> error. Uh, we'll get around the other side. I don't think oh, no, we'll do the kitchen. Do the kitchen. We're already okay. here. Let's do the kitchen. This is, uh, yeah. The kitchen comes with all the flip in flip out drying rack it's all full of stuff at the moment but this just folds over to the top there i actually changed the plug to a 50 mil waste um and put this whatever you want to call it retractable blah 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 extendable waste extendable hose <laughs> yeah and then ran a 40 mil bit of pvc to the other side of the camper and um it just it just dumps on the ground we can put another hose on there if we're staying at caravan parks and that yeah but it's literally just dirty dishing dishwasher water like when we do the dishes and that there's nothing else which we still have to do because we don't really do caravan no we don't really do caravans no well well we did but we did for your birthday caravan parks yes but yeah we don't really we will do them but yeah. it's definitely maybe like a one thing a year type trip yeah. for us yeah. definitely more hip camps and just free camping out bush really but i'm um, down here you got all the gauges uh water pump fridge hot water diesel heater isolator been here for a day so we've only used oh not much probably maybe 20 liters of water which is good considering you had a shower this morning yeah we're very concerned with yeah. water we uh, well. still got 13 volts that's all Bluetoothed as well to the um, phone. Yeah. And I don't even look at the volt gauge anymore. Just look at my phone and it literally tells you what you're using and how long you can last with it. So at the moment, I think it said we've still got six days out here if we didn't do anything. Yeah. Just left the fridge running and the lights when we need it. Which is perfect. Uh, running around the other side. So on the front, we've just got this big lockable toolbox. Holds two big uh gas bottles 8.5s in here is the diesel heater tank 15 liters that's obviously our uh hose and waste and our leveler for the camper other side is just a jerry can holder um we don't really use it for that unless we're doing big trips just for extra diesel for the cruiser um but the only little mod that you've actually done is you put a oh yeah tank. i did yeah, we put an outside tap on it um, just so the kids can wash their feet and all the rest of it. It's really not really needed. We actually forget it's there. <laughs> it's been used maybe a dozen, nah, not even. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Three times. Once to fully put out a fire before we left the kip camp. We just hooked the hose in and just washed it all out. Um, and the other time was to clean our dishwashing rack. Oh, the wind's picked up a bit, so we'll see how we go. But so this is our shower, ensuite, whatever you want, toilet, yep. slash change room, yep. slash everything. Um, it's just a Dune four-wheel drive uh, shower annex, just the ones that you put on your cruiser or your car, um, and we've attached it to a jockey wheel because obviously, when it's flat, it faces this way. Once this boat rack folds over. And then we just pull the pin, flip it around, and good to go. Uh, Mrs. can show you inside. So in here we've had a zip installed. Oh, I've got it. So this actually oh. doesn't actually 
need a comp like it. But we've had this installed on this side so we can get to our back section of the camper where all our toiletries and our towels go. So our bottom one, like we said, is our toiletries and our towels. And these are the containers that we had in the pantry that has divided everything for us. Probably the best thing that we have brought because um, it is doing the job for us, which is great. I think I'll be shuffling a little bit around to try and get it sorted a little bit better. But for now, it's actually doing the job. Um, and then up the top here is the other drawer that we got done. Well, it's just a stack drawer at the moment. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of hidden everything from the kids. Um, but yeah, until we can find, well, work out what we're going to do with this side, um, that's what it's going to be. Yeah, I think that side might turn into a little bit of a, maybe a slash little tool section. Because um, we've got the gun for the legs. Spare bearings, all that type of stuff, maybe a socket set. But we'll see how we go. Obviously, this here as well, if we can get it to show you. Um, well, the missus on it. There we go. Here's the second fridge slide, obviously. Um, it's got Anderson plugs, normal cigarette lighters, plug. They all do come they all, lights. Yeah, they all do have lights. Um, but yeah, you can obviously put another fridge in here if you need it. We don't need it, uh, so we just store our toilet, chainsaw, and that stuff in there. Um, move on to the boat rack. Boat rack, I've got this off a 1985 Jayco, this little toolbox. And that now houses our um, poles for everything. Oh, sun's bright. Um, up the top we have, oh, I can't remember what is it, one, two foot, no, two, I can't remember. What is it? uh 120 120 watt solar built in um this is all factory we haven't touched it the pole absolutely everything is factory they run a little cable down here for you and you just plug it in and plugs into the camper and that's you done it's pretty simple obviously that's our shower as well missed that bit before which is hot water so this here is obviously linked up to the gas. So this, obviously, when you light it, is where your light, pilot light is. These um, cases that go over it for obviously being on the road and protecting have to come off. Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, you might gas yourself out or maybe blow something up. Who knows? <laughs> um, yeah, the, it's got a 14 litre hot water, not an instantaneous, a 14 litre. What do you call it? Storage unit? Yeah. Um, in it. And that's inside, and we'll show you inside now. You go. Alrighty. Alrighty. We need to make this quick because the flies here are atrocious. Yeah, the flies are pretty bad. Actually, yeah. the canvas, I would show you, but Mrs. has used about 30 litres of uh, <laughs> fly, fly spray. spray out there. So they are. Uh, oh, this is yeah. what I was zipping it down. They're actually, uh, yeah, leave the door open and <laughs> zip it down, eh? But go. Alrighty, sorry. This, excuse the mess, it is actually, this is our side of the bed. Uh, this is a queen. Um, obviously, you got your privacy screens on this side. Then we've got storage, which I use for the kids' clothes. Um, they've got little baskets that are going go in there with all their clothes in it. I'm still fiddling with that because, yeah, they need more clothes. They need more winter stuff now. Getting into winter, we need a lot more. Um, myself and Nathan have these two drawers. Um, this cupboard here is actually where we store... Really <laughs> it's really what? It's really warm in there. Oh, um, there sorry. There you go. It's really warm. Um, we store well. Our games. Well, our games. Yeah, everything go inside here, but at the back there is our hot water system. 
Um, so that's all inside there. In saying that, you should probably take all that stuff out when you do your yeah, hot, turn we, your hot water on. We forget every time without fail. We haven't uh, burnt the joint down yet, but make sure you remove it. That would be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this end of it is where we've got the diesel heater. Um, all the technical stuff is quite at, well, at the front of the door. So you've got your radio, you've got your, um, what the hell do you call that thing? Uh, all your Bluetooth yeah. uh, and 12 volt gauges and that are all up front. So you've got one for 12, uh, 240 volt as well. And it will tell you pretty much what you're using, which I don't think you really need it anyway. But uh, the other one is a Bluetooth, which uh, projected Bluetooth unit, which just Bluetooths to your phone. So that doesn't get turned on either because you just look at your phone. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Yeah, but it's all there. So um, a few extra switches for lights and that. Yeah. Uh, this here is actually your switch for your hot water system. Um, so where you would have seen the switches at the front, you will turn your hot water on, come in here, and you've got a 60 or 70 degrees. So when you flick it on, it will tick, 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 and then it will ignite. Um, but there is a little red light that normally flashes to let you know that it actually is turned on. And we found out last night that it actually disappears when it comes to temp. Yes, it we? does. We did. We did. Uh, it was confusing. Yeah, Ethan wanted to know about his if it was meant to have a light or not. Because um, his didn't have a light, it. eh? Yeah. Didn't, it might even be, it looks exactly the same, but I think it might be a little bit different without a light. Right? Yeah. And then we come in here to show him out, and we didn't have a light either because it was already up to temp. Yep. Um... Yeah, the control for the diesel heater, like this is your where it, the hot air obviously comes out of. Um, the temp control is over this side here. Now, the only thing with running a diesel heater, you must remember to take out the vents, the covers in your doors, because if you don't, you're gonna not wake up. Um, <laughs> yes. It gets pretty hot, man. It does. Our first. Uh... <laughs> event oh, yeah. with the diesel heater woke up it was cold it was freezing and we woke up gasping we for air because it breathe. was that hot in here yeah it was ridiculous we know it works yeah it definitely it, works. it works well um so this is obviously our seating area uh the table does have a winder and it winds up and down now if it goes down um and we're not using this as a seating area it actually turns into a king bed when it is turned into a seating area, my one pet hate is the kids jumping over <laughs> the cushions because I'm constantly cleaning them. So Nathan has actually put struts on the table so we can pull it up and leave it up so the kids can actually walk straight through instead of jumping over everything. Um, now that is their end of the bed. That's their abortion? Uh, yeah. Privacy screen is there in the middle. Um, it looks stupid for now. <laughs> but... but anyone with kids <laughs> that are pretty close in age know that they fight like cats and dogs, whether they're out playing in the bush oh, yeah. or laying next to each other, screaming, don't touch me. Why do you touch me? Kicking, Kicking, punching each other. So we come up this brainwave last time we went out. Um, yeah. Just rip these exact same privacy screens. They were set up the exact same with this up here and we undid the lot and I ran it that way instead and it's been a god eh? oh yeah they Works like are a treat. more than happy to actually yeah. sleep like that now they which still is... they still every now and then scream at each other yeah it. but um which is good for now because they're short <laughs> until they <laughs> but once they get a little bit taller we might be in trouble Sailor's gonna be fine Sailor will be right she'll probably do <laughs> that when she's 18 <laughs> but um yeah but Jaws already tried jumping on the lounge and he's happy to pretty much sleep on the lounge so i think this will probably get modified eventually we'll piss the, the table, table off all together and, and set up a single, single bed yeah. which has been done heaps of times on the page yeah so i think we'll probably end up doing that um, that's the mdc page by the way yeah the mdc <laughs> xtt page um and sailor can probably go down there joy can have the big bed or, yeah. or whatever well that bed at that end is actually a double, double bed yeah and the oldest is too cool anyway, so... Yeah, we're... No. She's 18, <laughs> in the swag. Um, yeah, we're ceiling fan. 
How sketchy is it? it yes. Looks dodgy as it works like a treat. It actually doesn't move. It doesn't swing around like you think it would. It actually, it does well. It's pretty good, eh? Except you wanted to put it above our bed and I was like, no, because yeah. it's going to de decapitate you. Well, only if you sit up and forget about it. Which you would. A couple of beers you might forget. <laughs> um, TV? Yes. We've only just... Yeah, Nathan's little, real fresh. Nathan's little idea of... Um... Another little mod. Um, <laughs> I, they come with a TV bracket, which is pretty much this one here. And you can clamp it onto your TV, like onto your tables, or clamp it down here on your bench. But I spent a couple of hours cutting and shutting and modifying to make it work in there. So you pull that pin and then you can still pack it all up. Obviously you take the TV off, lay it on your bed, or we lay it down here on the lounge. Um, but it's good, you can open up that window, swing it around, and then it soon becomes an outside TV, which is mint for footy season, if you can get reception. Yes. We haven't had a problem yet, no. but we've only tried using it twice, uh, which was on one trip. And we've lost the remote already. We wanted to watch TV <laughs> last night when we were laying in bed, watch a movie or something. I couldn't find the remote, and you can't put it on USB without the remote. <laughs> so, we don't find that by the end of this trip. Uh, TV will probably end up in the bin worth we'll another one. Uh, lesson learnt. Lesson learned. Oh, you've probably seen as well down the bottom there, yes, I do have a vacuum cleaner. For anyone who knows me, I am a clean freak. Um, so yes, 8.30, 9 o'clock <laughs> last night, I was in here vacuuming my children's bed because they had put sand galore through it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's handy. Um, it does, yeah, it does the job. All the 240 volts out here only work on house power. So we're just backing in that home. Underneath there, there's a Makita battery and charger, the charger for the uh, vacuum, stuff like that. And then when you plug it in at home, it's just all on charge. So when you go out bush or wherever, it's already good. It's all charged up, ready to go. Um, if you remember to put the battery in, that is. So <laughs> like when we rocked up here, we didn't have a battery to put in the pan. So it's good. It's why you have kids. Give them all the hand tools and they can do it anyway. But um, is there anything you don't like about it? Like, hate, don't like it. Um, would change. No. I'm actually really happy with it. I mean, eventually we will upgrade. 100%. Um, yeah. Once the kids get older. Um, we will uh, probably upgrade to what's next door I've got. Without but, bunks. Yeah, without the bunks. We, we will have this until the kids grow up and be in swags if they want to come. Or when they've grown up and don't want to come. Yeah. Then we will definitely upgrade yep. to something a lot easier set up. Don't get me wrong, it only takes us 30 minutes, 40, 30 to 45 minutes to set yeah. it up as it is now with the annex. If you don't use the annex, it's 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Yep. This is all ready to sleep in. Yep. Annex is a little bit longer, but a lot of people just use a 6x3 gazebo. I think if I paid the money for an annex, I want to use the annex. I don't want to buy a gazebo and have to carry that around as well. But... Just proves that you can get out here, have a good time, um, with a bit of a budget, like. Yeah. Those soft floor things are a headache, I know they are, we've had them, we've been there. We've been there, we've done that. Um, and it took us a long time to jump the gun to buy this, we've looked oh, for years. we've looked and um, denied for years. And we've just stayed in the swags and just dealt with it, but, um, Steep Point trip was a big opener for us when we hired that Ford Fold. Yep. And that was what done it for us, was, yeah. You know, honestly, that's what we went to look at when we bought this. Yeah, then we seen this. Was a Ford Fold. <laughs> it was actually the MDC slide, so it still had a little bed down there, but it took up most of the lounge space. And then we seen this and went, we've got to get this instead. Oh, it's just convenient as well. Like, if it is on days like um, when we went away for my birthday, yeah. it was cold and we were like, oh, bugger it, we're going to come and sit inside. Sit inside. So we came and sit inside, and that was the first time we've actually sat in here sat and had a meal yeah, or something there. Yeah. Um, so it was nice to actually sit around this and be able, and we actually had the TV going, and the kids just yeah. chilled in the back. Like, just it was watching actually, TV, yeah. having feed, kids colouring in. It was good. It was good. And that's so we know. the only time we've ever done it. Yes. And still only ever done it. But yeah. <laughs> well, we've never really, tra we don't really travel much in winter. If we have, it's always yeah. been that one-off time we've been in swags. But now that we have this, yep. we want to kind of get out more. We Last night was a tester, by the way, with the rain because it, it was down. hectic. 
And we had, I think, a little bit of water on the seat you found yeah, this morning. Yeah, but I can't work out. Don't know where, where it came it from. Came it could from. have been one of the kids' water bottles. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, we definitely couldn't find where it came from, but the awning did get a um. Awning got a little bit of a bent pole. <laughs> just from the water. That's just yeah. sound error. Like yeah, we didn't know it was going to rain. If I knew it was going to no. rain, I would have dropped the edge of it and just let it all run off. But I didn't. It pulled up, filled full of water, and um. Which we can actually show you guys because one. Oh, it's still a little bit full of water now. Go on, you do it. Yeah. I'm gonna make you get wet. No. Oh, you hold this down. <laughs> Damn it. Hope you did get it done. But yeah, it's a little bit bent. This is purely error, my error. This is probably a little bit high. In all honestly, I could have just had this drop down for the night, and we would have been alright. The water wouldn't have pulled in there like it was. But that was, um, there was a lot more in that last night than what there is now. But here's what it is you learn from your mistakes. Yeah, you can see obviously it's actually stretched the canvas just there. Yeah, a little bit. Hopefully it will come back. If not, well, here's it's what it what is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to know any more about it, let us know. Um, happy to answer any questions. Chuck them in the comments. Like, subscribe, and hopefully you'll see a bit more of the family out now with this thing. What do you reckon? Cheers. Cheers! <laughs>